listen to Mini Mini Drivers podcast, Mini Questions. Oh, yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Fantastic. Very good. Shouldn't be... Stay out of podcasts. I just want to say that to famous people right now. Stop it. They're for us. Not famous people. So you're, you're saying this on national television? That's right. It's for mediocre stand-up comedians who don't want to spend a lot of time on the road. Well, then, congratulations. Well done. You've done it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Minnie's got... Mini Driver's got mini questions. Reggie asks a question every night. Ian, any question you would like to ask the world? Do you have Ian any questions? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, James. Really sorry that about is, that. Sorry. That, I swear to God, we have had some lows on this show. <laughs> That's arguably the lowest moment of the show. <laughs> say it again. What did you say? Do you have e any questions? Yeah, it's, 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 it's worse. <laughs> e any questions? Do you have e any questions? Ian kind of. E, 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 no, it doesn't no. work. No, it doesn't right. work. I will not. <laughs> it does. I will not. No, it's, it doesn't. It does work. No, it doesn't. It actually, it does. It doesn't. Yeah. It works. It doesn't. No, it does. It doesn't. I'm telling you, it, it does. doesn't work. It will never work. I've I think it's funny. <laughs> okay? So, sorry, you're now saying not only does it work, it's also funny. Yes. <laughs> Do you have e any questions? <laughs> it, it doesn't work grammatically. Oh, Nate's piping in now. What's up, Nate? Go on. Hi, uh, Nate Pearl, professional comedy writer here. Um, <laughs> I would just like to say I am on your side, James, uh, and that it should have been questions. Oh. Oh. oh, you're right. You got me. You got me there, Nate. That's it. That's it. That's that is it. You want to try it again? Uh, Ian, any question? What did I say? Any any question you'd ever want to put out into the yeah, world? Yeah, any questions? No, don't add the first. <laughs> don't add the first one. <laughs> now you've just made it. Don't take the first one. Doesn't work. <laughs> any <laughs> questions? <laughs> Hold the any E and E is never. Got oh it. my god! Got it. Okay. One more time. Got it. All right. Ian, any, any, any question you'd like to put out into the world? Yeah, do you got any questions? <laughs> yeah, that is better, actually, now that you mention it. No. <laughs> well, then, let's get into it. It's time for the news. The news. And the White House confirmed today that President Biden will be traveling to Europe next week, primarily to meet with NATO leaders in Brussels. This is big. Do you know how hard it is to get Joe Biden out of DC during cherry blossom season? He doesn't. <laughs> the White House says Biden will be traveling to Brussels next week. And if you think he's not going to refer to everyone he meets, like, ah, oh, check out Brussels Crow over here, buddy boy, you crazy. <laughs> Meanwhile, the prime ministers of the Czech Republic, Poland and Slovenia all travelled by train to Kyiv today to show support for Ukraine on behalf of the European Union. Biden is not going to like this. He'd be so angry to miss out on a train ride. <laughs> In other news, the president of France, Emmanuel Macron, is getting some criticism for supposedly copying the wartime look of Ukrainian president Vladimir Zelensky. His office released photographs, photographs of him at work recently, and he's ditched his usual suit for jeans and a hoodie. For comparison, here's Zelensky here, and this is President Macron. Look at that. <laughs> Nothing more powerful than seeing the leader of France dressed like he's heading to the farmer's market. <laughs> People are saying they look the same. I don't think they look the same as much as all guys kind of dress the same. <laughs> like, we've only, there's only... There's, like, three different ways a guy can dress. That's one of them. That's it. <laughs> and Zelensky isn't the only European leader whose style Macron is copying. This is him shortly after a meeting with Boris Johnson. <laughs> LAUGHTER If you were going to copy one famous person's look, what would you go for? Who would it be? Oh, man. I, I really like, like, goals-wise, eventually I'd like to become comfortable with myself enough to dress like Pete every day. Pete here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got a, you got a long way to go. I got a long way to go. <laughs> you got a long way to go. It's a long road. You've got to be... You've got to be lived in. You've got to be... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, it, there is a look there that says, 
Don't dream it, be it. That's it. That's it. I would like to draw you naked. I would. I actually think that's the greatest show of respect. You can show another man is what I would love. Is you not in it? Not in any way is it like? No, there's no. There's no edge to it. It's just you and me, couple of beers, and I draw you. <laughs> I draw you a, a full nude. Are, are like you... one of those French girls. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not nude. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not nude. Yeah. I'm drawing Pete as a nude, and it's not pornographic. You can't. It's very. His legs are very nicely done, like a, a draped hand. <laughs> I'd love to do that. Oh. Next season. You open that? All right, I'd love that. <laughs> and did everybody hear about this? Earlier today, the Senate passed a bill to make daylight savings time permanent. It's called the yes. Sunshine Protection Act. Yes. And if it passed in the House, it means the clock stays as it is. We wouldn't have to fall back in autumn. Now, we actually talked about this, this very thing, on this very show last week, and now suddenly the Senate springs into action. <laughs> if you think that's a coincidence, you don't know how many lobbyists we have inside the Beltway. <laughs> They're calling it the Sunshine Protection Act. It's actually my favourite Maroon 5 album. <laughs> Sunshine Protection Act. <laughs> Senator Kirsten Cinema seemed very pleased about the outcome. Look at this. Is there objection? Without objection, so ordered. Thank you, Madam President, and... Uh, yes. <laughs> yes! 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 <laughs> Looks like someone is excited about using their gas-powered margarita blender well into December. <laughs> no one has ever been that happy in the Senate. Not since the last time Mitch McConnell invited everyone over for just grilling and chilling. <laughs> And did everybody hear about this? <laughs> Earlier today, the Eiffel Tower got even taller. It's true, a new antenna was attached to the top of the monument today, so the tower is officially 19 feet taller, to which the Empire State Building was like, actually, it's actually more about girth. <laughs> this is true, the new antenna is for digital radio. Yes. Digital radio. Yes. Just when you thought Paris couldn't get any sexier, <laughs> go and get a digital radio. <laughs> <laughs> but check this out, they've just made it even taller. <laughs> e any, any questions <laughs> is better than that. <laughs> That's the lowest point of the show. And finally, Disneyland is offering a new food item that is proven to be extremely divisive among park guests. Are you ready for this? It's a dessert pasta. It's peanut butter and jelly pasta. Here it is here. Look at that. <laughs> Would anyone here eat that? Stop. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. Peanut butter and jelly it is one of the most easily adaptable sweet to savory foods. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And all that is, is is like a peanut flavor, a little bit of sweetness on top of a carb. I'd absolutely eat that. That's correct. Yeah. That's correct. I don't know, man. Oh, yeah. I think, that's a, I think that is a real low point. There are, I think that's a low point. Disneyland is... It was eating that that gave Eeyore depression. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, a, it's all the ingredients of a dessert. It's just reconfigured. I used to make, you know, mayonnaise M&M sandwiches. Stop. <laughs> oh, my... It's the same ingredients as a cake. It's just like, it's wheat, mayonnaise. eggs, yeah. May what kind of cake are you eating that's got mayonnaise in it? No, no, not the cake, but you separate the ingredients. Those are in cakes. <laughs> yes. So you got wheat, peanut butter, jelly. It's, it's like a peanut butter jelly sandwich, but it's just deep. But look at it, Reg, look at it. I understand what you're saying about the yeah. taste. Look, it looks like Woody from Toy Story melted on a plate. <laughs> Okay, it doesn't look great, but I'd try it. Can we um, make it here and try it or have them send one? Yes, they could send it to the oh, show. Oh, yeah, no, because it's best when that has traveled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah.
no, just the, keep it. No, that's the best way to eat it. Get it and put it in a car for two <laughs> hours. No, keep it separated. Keep it separated, and then we get the chance to. Keep it separated. Sorry, combine. you're asking Disneyland to send us some pasta, <laughs> peanut butter, and jelly. <laughs> Because how could we do it without the skilled professionals <laughs> back there? <laughs> there seems to be some other wow. stuff on there. We need the rest of the recipe. <laughs> Those okay. are uh, Pop Rocks. Oh, are they really? Stop. Oh, that no, makes sense. Seriously? Yeah, are you serious? Not. Those are Pop, Pop Rocks on top. On top. Oh, okay, okay. now I'm Pop not going to try it. Now I'm not well, going to try it. Well, oddly, now I'm interested. No! Yeah, right? <laughs> The new dessert pasta has been very polarizing. In fact, it's Disneyland's most controversial food item since the Finding Nemo seafood platter. <laughs> and that's the news. We'll be right back with Minnie Driver and James Marsden, everybody. We're playing some music right now just to ease on into that commercial break. We're going to be right back, so make sure to get your bingo card.